How's it going boys? In front of me today is not some boring suitcase. In fact, in front of me today is the world's most discreet sex machine. So inside of this innocent looking case is hiding an extremely powerful sex machine. I've been playing around with it for the past two weeks and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my opinion on this beautiful sex machine. So first of all, as you guys can see, it comes in a very nice and neat package. Actually is not that big. I think it's around 30 centimeters in length and about 20 in width. The entire sex machine is actually hiding on the inside and I'm going to show you how it looks like on the inside. So this is how it looks like on the inside. So as you can see, there's a hole on the side where you are going to place the rod that is going to hold whatever sex toy you're gonna choose and then you're gonna lock it in place. And then you have another knob that will control the amplitude. So it will control how far deep the dildo that you're using is gonna go in and is going to move. So it actually comes preset on a low amplitude, but you can basically just change it, just move the knob, move it to the white side, and now you will have a high amplitude. So as you guys can see from the side, it only has a small hole, so it's still pretty discreet and you can literally use it while it's in this package. So you don't have to take it out of the package. In fact, I don't think you can take it out of the package. All you have to do is attach whatever rod here, whatever attachment comes with multiple ones. So you can extend it and you can make it longer as long as you want. It also comes with one that has a spring on it so it can adjust the angle of it. I'm gonna show you guys quickly how to attach a dildo onto the sex machine. So the sex machine comes with many different dildos. You can choose whatever you like and all you have to do is just put it here and then lock it in place and now it's locked, it's solid, it's not moving. It also comes with an attachment that has a spring in it so it can actually move and adjust to whatever hole you're putting it into. As you guys can see, it can go up and down and it just makes it much more comfortable. And then on top of this, you can attach the dildo. Just like that. And now the whole thing can move up and down. Now, let me get rid of this. I'm gonna show you the sides. So on the other side of this suitcase, you have two inputs. So one is for the remote control and one is for that power input. So to attach them, it's pretty simple. So you put the cable for the remote control inside, push it in, and then you screw it in place. And this way it locks in place so that it doesn't fall. And here, as you guys can see, there is the remote control. So you press on to turn it on and then you can control the speed in which it's going at. The whole thing, in my opinion, the remote control and everything is very, well made. It feels very solid. It feels like it's gonna last for a very long time. And on the other side is the power input. It comes with a pretty long cable so that you can feel free to move this machine and put it wherever it's comfortable for you. So now I'm actually gonna tell you honestly what is my opinion about this sex machine. First of all, I really like the concept, the fact that you can hide it inside any closet and nobody would ever figure out. Hell, even if they opened it, there's nothing that states sex machine inside. It's just basically a machine sitting inside a suitcase. Secondly, I was very impressed by the build quality and the functionality of it. So it feels very solid. It feels that it's very well made. It feels like it's gonna last for a very long time. And it actually works the way you want it to work. So it works smoothly. It is very powerful. And the remote control that comes with it is actually very accurate. The knob is very smooth and it allows you to control the speed of the machine very accurately. So you can make it extremely slow or you can adjust the speed a little bit more. So the jumps between one speed to the other are very tiny. So you can basically choose whatever speed works for you. To be honest, I tried using it at the max speed and 
it's so powerful that the max speed is basically ridiculous because the whole machine would start moving. So the machine is basically too light to handle the max speed. I don't think you're ever gonna need to use the max speed, but in case you do need to use it, somebody needs to be holding the machine in place or you're gonna find a way to hold it in place, maybe put it behind something or lock it in place. Otherwise, the whole machine is gonna start moving back and forth. One small downside about this machine is that you cannot really control the angle. So it doesn't come with some sort of tripod or way to basically elevate it or change the angle of the penetration. So you basically have to use it in whichever angle it's at. Sure, you can attach the spring that I just showed you and it's gonna really help with the angle. However, if you wanna, for example, raise it to table level, you're gonna have to put the whole machine on the table. There's no way to basically attach specific rod and make it in a different angle. But the good thing is that the angle in which the machine comes at, the default angle, is actually perfect for your girl or someone who wants to use it laying down on bed. It works perfectly if you're laying down on bed, but the moment you start changing positions, for example, you wanna do like doggy style and the back is kind of elevated up, it's gonna be much more challenging to kind of mount it. You're gonna have to put it on something to elevate it up, or perhaps you're gonna have to hold it in your hand. So it's actually not that heavy. It's around maybe 10 pounds or something a little bit less. So you can easily hold it with your hand. Obviously it's not ideal, but if you are using it with your girlfriend or with your partner, you can basically hold it in your hand and make it do the job for you. All in all, I think it's an amazing sex machine. It's very quiet, very discreet. So if you turn it on, the neighbors are not gonna feel that you have some sort of crazy machine running at home. I would really love to see the company actually make some sort of mount that puts it and keeps it stable on the ground because the moment you increase the speed quite a bit, the machine starts moving. So you have to put it in a place where there is friction and that would keep the machine in place. In anyways, that's my take on this machine. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video and in the comment section. So if you're into that, make sure to check it out. In anyways, I thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye-bye.